Hi everybody and welcome again to the Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have all the tools for you right here. Before we get into some NHL action for November 27th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools that you will need. So let's take a look at some of the games here. The Seattle Kraken and the Florida Panthers to kick things off. Until Enders last in the Pacific Division, and the Panthers are on top in the Atlantic Division. See, Florida is burning hot at the moment, winners of their last three, and Seattle is dead up winning of their last game, but won just 1-5 one over their last six. You see that Florida has a huge advantage here at home. They are favored by 1.588 to 2.595 odds. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you also see that Florida is at plus 29, and Seattle is all the way down at plus 1. If you look at the score prediction, you see that Florida is picked to win by a 4-1 to margin with 53% level of confidence. If you take a look at the totals predictor, you can see that Seattle has been trending in games over the line, and Florida is trending in game over the line as well. This is a very good indication to bet the over in this one. If you look at the volatility oscillator to see how consistent the two teams have been faring, according to the favorite underdog status, you see here that Florida is at plus 8, so they've been very, very stable, very consistent. While Seattle is moderately consistent, moderately stable here at plus one. If you take a look at the money line, the money line hasn't really hasn't been showing much here lately on the money line, but take a look at that later on as we get closer and closer to the game. I really don't see this to be much of a contest. I believe that Florida will win very easily by at least two goals, maybe three, and bet the over. Next game we want to look at here is Edmonton and Vegas. The Oilers enter play with the second best record in the Pacific Division, and the Golden Knights are fourth. You see that Edmonton is averaged down at the moment, coming off of a loss. They are 3 and 3 over their last six. And Vegas is also coming off of a loss, and they are 4 and 2 over their last six. You see that Vegas is a side home favorite at 1.93 to 2.012 odds. And the score prediction indicates how close this, this matchup is, with Vegas picked to win by a 3 to 2 score with a 71% level of confidence. The totals predictor is showing that Edmonton is trending in games over the line, while Vegas is also trending in games over the line. This is a good indication to maybe, maybe bet the over. Mm -hmm. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, see that both teams are relatively high here. Edmonton near the top of the league right now at plus 28, while Vegas is at plus 23. If you're considering to see how uh, consistent the two teams have been according to their favorite underdog status. Both teams, again, are very consistent, both at plus five. So this is a very tight matchup. I do like Vegas to win, though, at home. I would avoid the over-under, but pick Vegas to win in a very tight contest, probably by a goal, maybe even in overtime. Montreal and Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is fifth in the Metropolitan Division, and the Canadians are second from the bottom in the Atlantic Division. You see that Pittsburgh is on a three-game winning streak. They are burning hot at the moment. And Montreal is coming off of a win after four straight losses. They are two and four over their last six and ice cold up. Pittsburgh is a strong favorite at 1.55 to 2.704 odds. And the score prediction of a 4-2 margin for Pittsburgh indicates that as well with 65% level of confidence. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that Pittsburgh is on an upward trend. They were at plus 5 just a week ago. They are now at plus 16. While Montreal has been on a steady decline, and they have been stable though over the last couple days, but still only at plus 2. The Toys predictor is showing Montreal trending in games over the line at the moment. Pittsburgh trending in games under the line. So and that indication tells me that it's probably best to avoid the over-under in this one. Let's take a look at how stable the two teams have been. Pittsburgh noticed that they have not been stable at all, so they have not been consistent with their favorite underdog status at minus 2, but Montreal has been very stable at plus 4. What does that mean? Well, I'm really not sure about what that means for this one, because Montreal is a heavy underdog. Pittsburgh is a heavy favorite. But the neither team has been consistently performing. Well, Montreal has been consistently performing. So I think this is a good indication to go with Pittsburgh to win, probably by at least two goals, but I would avoid the over-under. Ottawa and Los Angeles, Columbus and St. Louis. 
Dallas and Arizona. This is another good matchup here. Central Division battle features two teams in the bottom, but both have been playing well lately. You see both teams have won their last two, thus the burning hot statuses for both. And Dallas is 4-2 and two over their last six. Dallas is a huge favorite on the road of 1.55 to 2.704. But the score prediction shows something different. The score prediction showing Arizona with a 3-2 margin of win with a 70% level of confidence. Well, let's take a look at a few other factors. The power ranking indicator shows that both teams are pretty low here. Dallas is at plus 7, steady for the last few days. And Arizona has been steadily near the bottom. They are at plus 2. The totals predictor is showing that Dallas is now trending games over the line over the past, close to the past week. While Arizona has been steadily under the line for the better part of this month, the last two weeks. So what I think is going to happen here, let's take a look at the volatility oscillator first. The volatility oscillator is showing that Arizona is very stable at plus 10. They're very consistent, mostly consistently bad, and that will, trend will continue. They are a home underdog. They will remain stable. They will remain consistent. They will lose the game. Dallas will win, and I would go with the under in this one. And the final game we want to look at for the week is Winnipeg and Calgary. Winnipeg enters third in the Central Division, while Calgary is first in the Pacific Division. You can see Calgary is hot right now, burning hot. Winners of their last four, and five out of their last six, including three shutouts. The Jets are averaged down. After winning three straight, they have now lost three straight, so three and three over their last six. Calgary is a pretty heavy favorite at home, 1.825 to 2.136. And the score prediction shows Calgary doubling up Winnipeg by a four to two score with 65% level of confidence. But if we notice the power ranking indicator, we can see that Calgary is at plus 29. Winnipeg was at 26, but they are, have dropped now to plus 21. The total prediction, you can see that Calgary has been up and down as far as the over and under. And Winnipeg has been under in the last game and Calgary over in the last game. That is a good indication to avoid the over under in this game. The totals predictor is showing that here as well. You can see both of these are showing the same thing. If you look at the volatility oscillator, how consistent have the teams been according to their favorite underdog status? You can see Calgary has not been very consistent, and they are at minus one, while Winnipeg has been very stable at plus six. Winnipeg has been very stable. They are a road underdog. That trend will continue. I do not think they have much of a chance in this one. I picked the Flames to win by a few goals, but would avoid the over-under bet. So there you have it. Enjoy the games this weekend. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.